I suspect you, as has been the case with me, have worked tirelessly on what turned out to be the wrong things and had difficulty making decisions when the answers were uncertain and unclear. That's not unusual. We're going to be faced with difficult decisions. Decisions involving areas on the one side where there is history and precedent and on the other side the unknown and some fear. In those situations it's really important to give ourselves some distance and a new perspective and by doing so the way forward often becomes clear. Years ago I read the book Only the Paranoid Survive by Andy Grove. I really enjoyed the book. He was the president of Intel and he described what was a hugely pivotal moment in the company's history. Now the company Intel was historically built on memory chips and at this time they'd actually developed a small business on the side making microprocessors but memory chips were really the foundation of the company. Japanese companies began also making memory chips in fact they had superior products and from 1978 to 1988 the market share held by Japanese company went from 30% to 60% Intel was getting crushed and there was massive debate inside the company about what strategies they should use to respond. Maybe they should build a giant memory chip manufacturing facility so they could better compete or maybe develop a new memory chip technology entirely or perhaps try selling the chips more strategically into specialty markets. Andy Grove said in 1984 that it was a grim and frustrating year. We worked hard without a clear notion of how things were even going to get better. We had lost our bearings. In a private meeting between Andy Grove and Gordon Moore, who was the CEO and chairman of Intel, Andy asked the question, what would happen if both of us were fired and the company brought in a new CEO? And without hesitation, Gordon answered, well, he would get us out of memory chips. So Andy Grove said, then why don't the two of us walk out the door and come back in and do it ourselves? And with that change in perspective, assessing the situation as an outsider, without the emotion and without all the historical baggage, came a moment of real clarity. And that's what they did. They stopped manufacturing and selling memory chips. And as expected, there was significant internal resistance and real fear. But when the sales force began letting their customers know that they were no longer going to be selling and supporting memory products, their customers said, well, it sure took you a long time. It's actually relatively easy to give yourself a new perspective. For one thing, you can simply imagine what advice you would give to a best friend given the same situation. Researchers know that our advice to others typically relates to those most important matters at hand and is not overly influenced by our short-term emotions, while our decisions on the same topic are clouded by every possible variable and our emotions. So get some distance, it'll help you make some better decisions.